All right, today's review, Ride and Tread on the Super Nintendo. My favorite genre, shmups. Score for this game, 7.5 out of 10. Not the best shooter ever, but it's still fun. Solid game. If you could find it for 10 to $15, buy it. Don't, don't spend any more than 15 It's not worth it. It's a decent port of the arcade game. The arcade is way better. If you're one of the five people on Earth who owns an Atari Jaguar, buy it for the Atari Jaguar. Kicks ass. But the music in this game is really good. I, I love this song. I have the Atari Jaguar version of this song in my MP3 player. I don't like that the gun's too loud. Listen to this gun. It's way too loud. It like kind of drowns out the music. And then when you get the laser, it's even worse. I'll get the laser next so you can hear it. Like, I just want to listen, like... Great shooters have great music. And even though I give, give this game a 7.5 out of 10, it has great music, but you just can't really hear it because of the gun. But it's a fun game. Difficulty, somewhere in the middle of the road. It's not the hardest shooter you'll, you'll ever play. Once you get it down, it's a pretty easy game. It's not going to kick your ass like some of the other shooters out there. It's not as easy as Android Assault and not nearly the level of like a game like Gaiar is. So it's somewhere, it's, it's harder than Android Assault. Nowhere near as hard as Gaiar is. So it's somewhere in the middle. Everyone could enjoy this game. Some people enjoy the super challenging shooters, but some people just want to fly around a little jet and save the world. So, it's a good game for that. Especially if you could find this game for cheap. Preferably $10. See, the, the gun's way too loud. I just want to listen to the music. That's it, first level. I want to get the laser next so you guys can see how it drowns out the freaking music. Oh, uh, graphics are okay. Super Nintendo could do way better than this. This is pretty basic for Super Nintendo. But, you know, it leaves little holes in the ground when you shoot the uh, ground enemies, which is cool. That was, that's out of the arcade. Yeah, you want to keep your gun strong. See how I mowed through that boss? If you keep your gun strong, it's... This game's... It's very manageable. Okay, let me get the laser. Blue. See? See how loud this is? The gun's powerful, but... It ruins it because of the music. You can't hear the music now. So if you... I'm gonna get red again. I want to hear my gun. Okay, these are straight missiles. See, the straight missiles are more powerful than the homing missiles. Okay, get the bolt in there. Now I can actually hear the game again. I haven't died yet. And now I'm going to die since I'm getting too confident. But yeah, this is an iconic game. It's an iconic shooter. Uh, I got. I have Ride in Four on Xbox now. That game is in the nines. I still have to review it, but that game's easily in the nines. That game's fantastic. Ah, I didn't want this gun. There I died. Get the fairy. When you shoot the fairy, you drops more power ups. And then I like the whole super bomb concept, which this game has. I don't know what, what's the first game to have the super bomb concept that clears the screen, but I like that this game has that. So you clear the screen with your devastating weapon boss battle. Just beat this boss. Gigantic freaking shit. Shooting little other little ships at you. Let's just spam my bomb. Let's beat this 
boss real quick. I'm just being reckless. There you go. Yeah, that was just spamming. Alright, that's Raiden Tread. I don't know why it's called Raiden Tread. The arcade was just called Raiden. It's a good game. Buy it. Buy it for 10 to 15 bucks. It's a kick ass game. Kick-Ass, even though I gave it a 7.5 out of 10, there's still, like, so many better shooters, but this is worth having, since it's an iconic game. Like I said, if you're one of the three people to own an Atari Jaguar, buy this on the Jaguar. But if you have a Super Nintendo or Sega Genesis, this game is on both of those systems. I think the Sega version is actually more expensive, so if you have both systems, get the Super Nintendo version. I think the Super Nintendo version runs for ten to twenty dollars. The Genesis version goes for like twenty to thirty. So get it as cheap as you can to add this to your collection if you're into the spaceship shooters. Schmucks. All right, everyone. Kick ass. Be safe. And take it easy. Listen to this music. Excellent music.